Hello everybody, this is the broccoli and mushroom casserole part of our birthday extravaganza. And as you can see, we have a lovely array of ingredients going into this, from butter to fontina cheese to the jasmine rice to the already cooked, because I steamed them ahead of time, broccoli heads to some lovely spices. And just for the record, because I know you'll see it, but you won't see me measure it out and add it, I have already put the stock in with the milk that I'm going to be using. We're going to be mincing up our garlic pieces and putting them into the pan where the butter is already starting to melt. And while we were here, I will also be chopping up my mushrooms ahead of time for sautéing them once all the butter melts and the spices start to get together. Now these are not shiitake like they are supposed to be, but they will do! Once the butter starts melting, we put our onions, mushrooms, and garlic in to simmer at a very low heat until it tenders. I kind of accidentally poured it in without talking about it, but I did add my bowl of flour and pre-measured herbs. I'm going to be grabbing the broccoli here in a minute to put into the frying pan, but the herbs that I had in with the two tablespoons of all-purpose flour was one teaspoon dried thyme and two teaspoons dried basil. Next, we'll be adding in our broccoli to mix with the lovely mushroom stuff we've been making. Now we'll be adding in the broth that I pre-measured along with the milk. Now I'm going to use normal milk because a lot of people are actually allergic to coconut milk in my life, and I'm not sure if one of my friends coming over is one of them. All right. set to work mixing that up Almost done here, but we still have to add the cheese in and stir it all up into the sauce. We're going to be adding the rice last. Almost done here, but we still have to add the cheese in and stir it all up into the sauce. We're going to be adding the rice last. Last but not least, we will be adding the rice, stirring it in thoroughly, and I do believe that's the end of our casserole almost, at least on the stovetop. 